That's a big topic, you know, the like late, great Biz Martin. Yes, my you know, dude, my dude. Very, yeah. very, very deeply missed. Yes, from all of us. Yes. You know? And I know it definitely hit home with you a lot harder than, than most, you know what I'm saying? Yes. I mean, I love them, you know, I would have never gotten to meet him if it wasn't for you. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? And I was surprised mm -hmm. how well you kept that. Mm -hmm. like. For years, because I've known you a long we time. We've known each other for a good A long minute. time. And yeah. we talk entertainment all the time, but that one you never let out the bag. Right, right. Well, Until mean, it was like that one time. But And you came through. Yeah. You know, I yeah, had, had the whole camera bag. Yeah. You know, you know, ready <laughs> In to the shoot streets, that movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the streets, yeah. It was all good. Yeah, man. Yeah. They actually gave a big tribute to him yesterday. Yeah. It's that moment. Really? Yes. That's what's up. Okay. Ralph McDaniels made a big announcement. We're gonna do a tribute. They had a whole video set up. Okay. And it was a tribute to Biz Markie. Oh, that's dope. Yes. That's dope. Yeah. I wanted to go to that one too. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. Well, our street it's reporter just, was there. I'm a street reporter. <laughs> okay. I've been nominated. Yes. Right. Yeah. Okay. And even on Monday night, KLS One gave a big. You know, we did out there, out there in the Bronx. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Beach. Well, they had to. It's all respect, right. too. You know what right. I mean? Yeah. Biz Mark was hip hop. He was hip hop. He was hip hop. Yeah, I mean, yeah. as far as like what he did to the game, he there it was no limits with him. Right, right? right. It was like you think picking boogies, bro. Yeah, that's all I really got to say. And that's the one thing. <laughs> yeah, he he came creative. He ain't changed for nobody. You no. know, he wasn't trying to form to the the norm that was out there. You know, he made his own lane. He made his own his own you know spark or whatever. And then he went in to do what he had to do. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So, so how long did you and Biz like know? How long did you know? So I I've known Biz before he was Biz. I know Biz when he was just Mark. All right. I Mark okay. Mark Mar Mar Marcel Theo Hall. Oh okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know the old government. The whole right. government. <laughs> Hell, that's my dude. You know. So yeah. So I've known Biz like we actually met like in the, in the eighth grade. Oh yeah. Yeah. So we 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 came from. We both came from the city, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I came from the Heights, Biz living in Harlem, you know what I'm saying? But we ain't known each other, we ain't know each other during that time. We both moved out to LI around the same time, met in the eighth grade, and, and that's where the friendship started right there. Wow. Yeah. So y'all both back. happened to leave Harlem at the same, around the same around time? Around the same time, around the same damn time. That means the parents time. came into some Monday, right? Yeah. Like, we gonna move on out, right? <laughs> right. 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 Jefferson. <laughs> That's, that's how it went, you know, but a lot of people don't know, but it's not anything that's a quiet kept secret. Biz, Biz came up, came up in the, in the, not the, in, yeah, the foster care system. Okay. So when he left Harlem, you know, he, he was just moving through the foster care system okay. and, and he, he came into a home once he came to LI and that's, that's where it all started right there, okay. you know, but it's, it's not, it's not no quiet kept. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, if you know him, you know him. Right. Uh, you and know everybody that. know him. You know what I'm saying? Speak, people speak about that on the interviews. Mm -hmm. He spoke about it, you know? Yeah. So, I think yeah. I do recall hearing that before. Yeah. 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 That's why I wanted you here, so that you could help us get to know the man. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Right. Like, really, where he came from, what he was about, you know, stuff like that. So. Because nah. we just know that energy, like yeah. when we know that energy that we see on stage, and I've, I've seen him a couple of times behind. And he's always great energy, you know? Yeah, always. Yeah, yeah. So, so anyway, so that's where it all started from. Um, I don't know, you know, he, and he spoke about this pre-COVID, you know, before all this crazy shit had happened to him. But um, he, he was in the process of actually writing a book. Okay. And the, the, title, the title of that book was called It All Started From a Mixtape. Mm. And... You know, lo and behold, that, that mixtape that he was talking about was the mixtape that I gave him when we first met in the eighth grade. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, wow. So so I had gotten this mixtape from my uncle. It, it took a little journey. It came from my uncle, who was like real tight with him, uh, was real tight with one of the Sugar Hill members, Sugar Hill Gang. Okay. So he gave my uncle the tape. My uncle gave my dad the tape. And then in turn, I got that tape. Right. Listened to that tape when I got it. I was like, yo, this shit is hot. So the next day I went back to school. He's in eighth grade, keep this in mind. Mm -hmm. And um, when I went back to school the next day, I was telling, at the time, Mark, but we all know him as Biz, mm -hmm. told him, we got, we got, you know, I got this tape or whatever, you gotta check this tape out. So it was a tape of the L Brothers, you know? Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the so, L Brothers. Who's the L Brothers? I know they're all, they're from Harlem, because I I run with uh, Crash Crew and those guys, and they all connected, I always hear the L Brothers. Right, right, <laughs> right so, and, and I know Red heard it, you know, right. L Brothers is, they they like the pioneers of hip hop, right? Right. You know, if the original L Brothers was like they called them, it was the Langston Brothers. Mm -hmm. So it was like Grand Wizard Theodore, right. yeah. Brother Maceo, and whatever, you know. Right. But then it branched off, and and it branched off to was Busy B Starsky, yes. then it was um, Waterbed Kev, you know, man, Master Rob, all of that. Did I say he knows a lot? I was with all of them recently. I was yeah. with all the same. I was with all the same. Those are homies. Yeah, those are my building. friends. Right. Yes. They right. live in our buildings. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Pretty much. Right. So, so, so she go back. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. that's what's up. The streets is in the building. That's good. And that's how it should be. That's all, that's all I know. So, yeah. So, we got, I got this tape. We listened to the tape. And not knowing what it was going to do at the time, but we listened to it. So, actually, the way, let me back up a step. So, I told him about it that weekend. We was able to, you know, get, he spent the night at my house, mm -hmm. and um, like that night, we list, we literally listened to that tape like at least twenty times. And so he was like, and what was crazy because he was like, you know, something. He said, I want to do that. I said, do what? He said, I want to be that. I want to rap like that. And he said, that's what I want to be right there. And then from that point on, it was like, okay, I said, all right, that sounds good. Press the play, come on, let's listen to the tape some more. But I didn't know that it was going to spark something in him. But something lit up in him when he heard that tape. Mm -hmm. And from that point, that dude never looked back. You know, so he had his journeys and things that he had to go through right. to get to his first hit. Right. But that. That was the the tape that that, the, that inspired him. That was the spark, and that was the spark to create the yes. diabolical Biz Markie. Yes, Ooh. facts. Thank you for that. Yeah, That's what's yeah. Up. And that, so, and that, what was the climate of hip hop around that time? Did you have other artists in the street doing music that you visually saw that could have helped inspire it, like? him when he first started writing? Because could you imagine like not having that, like the source, yeah. and you just hear music I mean, like, the, well, I know what he's talking about. Like, back in the day, like 79, we, this is 78, 79. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is the time when you get a tape and it's like your like a TV to you, like today, right? Like, YouTube is to us right now, is what a tape cassette represented no, to us back it, then, right? Mm -hmm. True, yeah. True. So, when we got that. Yeah, it was customary for us to play it till it broke, right? <laughs> right. right. Yeah. So you had to tape it up, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. And right. that was and that was the key thing. Tapes. Right. Cassette tapes. Right. It was a Memorex. A Ninety minute <laughs> tape, you know? Yes. Yeah, and and yeah, so that's what we had. Well this is not only for me, I'm asking in general for the you know, for the what the people watching also. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Absolutely. So, yes. No, okay, you got, you got a lot of cameras. Yeah, we got, right, yeah, you got, we got, cameras, we got, we got, a, we got a surround sound <laughs> surround sound cameras around here. Oh, yeah. Yes. 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 Videotape and audio tape. Nice, nice. Yeah, this is this is definitely a story worth recording on all fronts. Right, nah, right. no so, doubt. I see that. So yeah. so so we did it. Um he went through his journey, you know what I'm saying, and you know, like in, in, in business records, he spoke the truth, you know what I'm saying? Even though he was known as like the clown prince of hip hop, mm -hmm. but a lot of his records, he spoke the truth as far as like speaking on his journey, you know, like, you know, trying to get in parties and mm -hmm. cats wouldn't let him get on the mic and rap that day and all that type shit. Like yeah. that was real shit, you know? Yeah. You know, back then in Long Island, mm -hmm. it was more like house parties and right. stuff going on. Right. You know, um, not, um, you know, like the city where, you know, we had spots to go to and all that. But mm -hmm. anyway, you know, he used to come trying to get on the mic and catch was like, you know, he wasn't skillful that we felt right. at the time, you know? Yeah, yeah. So he grew into the biz that everybody know. 
you know, you you know, you hear his lyrics. <laughs> fun clown, right, just like right. having fun, making yeah. like you said, picking boogies. Right. You know, that, and the that's videos what, alone. And the was videos like, alone yeah. was crazy. He had the right. costumes and everything, yeah. you know. But cats wasn't rapping picking boogies back then, you no. know. Cats was four man teams and everybody right. was harmonizing. Right. And it was like, steps that was there, steps right. and leathers and yeah. you know, Proof. all that shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So how that. was he how do you feel like he was accepted when he first came out? Like did you find that people was gravitating and really appreciating his music, or did he have like a little strife with that? Right. So if, if you're speaking on when he first came out, like when he had the Nobody Beats the Biz and Make the Music with Your Mouth. Oh, he was in then. He was he was in then. Like right. you know, his his journey was you know, a, you know, he went through the whole Mike and Dave thing like with Crash yeah. Crew. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, then eventually he he connected with Shante. And you know, doing the that, beatbox thing and all that, that's and, what, and know, that's what really propelled them into, propelled them into you know his, his next phase. Okay, I think that's nice. the, that's when he really was like the beatbox is something that I can do yeah. to make me household. Right? right. So it was crazy talking about the beatbox. Like so, you know, no, cats wasn't beatboxing back no. then. No. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with like the the handball. You know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this shit like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Okay, yeah. okay. Yo, Ooh, we're so, right. so, nah, so that's where he started that shit. Okay. He, that's yeah. when he started out before he went to the beatbox. Okay. You know, he used to be on the school bus and, and doing this, the handball, and then he went to the sound effects like that, ah, and all this yeah. stuff. Oh, wow. And then it just morphed into the, the, the beatbox eventually. Yeah. Right. You know, but it, it, it started from the handball, from the handball, he you know, we all fucked around and did all this <laughs> shit. But he took it to another level right. with the sound effects, the right. mouths and all that. Right. And, and, and 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 you know, next thing you know, later on he just was, was doing the beatbox. He felt he he seen some cats doing it. And um and, and then next thing you know, he just that's what he wanted to do. He felt like that was my end, that was my path to get in. Mm -hmm. You know, and he connected yeah. with Shante and Shante was like, ah, yo, you know, I'm bring you to this party. I just need for you to beatbox while I do my thing. Right. And, and that's yeah, that's and, and that was the break right there, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought there was like a beef between Marley and Roxanne Shante and then Biz happened to be there. He said, "I can make it happen regardless." Okay. Well, yeah. you you got you got you got to jump on that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, because you you was connected with Marley, yeah, yeah. so Marley Marley yeah. gave you some good insight. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. It's all about finding a niche, like which yeah. door is going to open for you, you know right, what I mean? Exactly. Which connection you're going to make is going to be that connection, you no know what doubt. I mean? So, it yeah. ain't always coming in what you really want to do, right. you know, sometimes you got to come in through the back door, you know, like some writers and saying, you know, they want to sing, but like, I know how to write, let me write, let me get this song off, mm -hmm. and then eventually once I'm in the door, I can prove to them that I can also sing right. this song at the same time. So when did he cross over into the producing and creating of music? Because I know he did that as well. Yeah. So, so, so Biz was doing a little producing, you know, he was always a music connoisseur. Mm -hmm. So he, he was just, you know, he collected, he was a big collector. You know, it's his his music collection was amazing. Like you would go into his house and he just has rooms and just just full with records and toys, like miles, all that type <laughs> shit. He, he collected everything. Yeah, wow. big collector. No. Like you know, he collected back in our days. You know, we had rock and sock and robots. Yeah. You know? You know, easy bake ovens and all that <laughs> type. He literally had, he collected this stuff. Brand new, still in the box at the house. Crazy. Wow. He had a big, his basement was full of just toys, collective items that today is worth like a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and then, wow. like you said, with the music, he, he just collected records over the years. Okay. And then eventually he just kind of came in and started, started, you know, producing and doing this thing and, and maybe catch records. And DJing and DJing, and DJing, yeah. yeah. So the DJ and I guess, you know, Biz, Biz, he he kind of like he kept reinventing himself, mm -hmm. as you all know. Mm -hmm. He did he did the rapping thing. From the rapping thing, he went to the the DJ. From DJing, he started acting. He had Yo Gabba Gabba, right, right, and, right. and the, the Will Smith stuff, <laughs> and he had other little movies and cameos mm -hmm. and shit that he was doing. So he kept reinventing. He had a whole new generation. You know, Yo Gabba Gabba. Right, that came years yeah, later. Yeah, that came later, but yeah, he, he, he later. caught that audience mm -hmm. now. He got kids, you know, that was, yeah. you know, no five, more six, world. seven years old now. Right. They're like, I know this monkey that got a be box. Right. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. That is true. That's dope. Definitely dope. Yeah. 
He seemed like the type that when he finally made it, like the industry did not change him. It didn't. Mm-hmm. It right? Didn't. He's like the same yeah. biz or, or mark, yeah. you know, yeah. that yes. you do from back in when he was he little. He still had those corny jokes. He still had the corny. He was a comedian, <laughs> you know what right. I'm saying? You know, he was on, you know, they had that thing called Snaps. <laughs> right, right. And he, he was on. He was one of the, he was a funny dude, you know. Mama he he had the, the big mama jokes, he you know. Did. Yeah, he, he would break you down, man, if you ain't ready. You know, yeah, be ready yeah. to fight and shit, you yeah. know. <laughs> and he, he liked was, to do that shit at the shows. Right? He liked to do that shit he like, on stage. Yes. He yeah. start that shit up. <laughs> Yo, he was a big, big comedian, man. He yeah. had a big heart, man, yeah. big soul. Beautiful person, man. I'm, you know. Yeah, that, it was really. I'm missing sad. that dude, man. Right. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. talking about him now. This is the first time I'm really having. Yeah, and you know, I knew it was going to be like that. Yeah, yeah. 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 So since, I know since. this is going to take you to a place that you haven't been. You know. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Remembering that. Basically. Yeah, you know, I, I, yeah. you know, I listen to his music, but just now, like, just sitting back, kicking with, you know, kicking with you guys, and yeah. really, you know, now I'm thinking. Bringing back some memory type shit, you know. Yeah. Tell yeah. me something funny, like a, a funny scenario, like something that you know. I don't know, funny, something that you know yeah, that, that really tells his character in a sense. You oh know? man, I got the crazy one. So back then, the Mark era. Uh huh. So <laughs> the, mark, I, the I, free biz. The, 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 mar, the, the Marcel Theo Hall era. <laughs> <laughs> so I spent the night at his house this time, you know, at his the, the family where he was living. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, this was funny, you know, he was he was real awkward, you know, two left feet type thing. <laughs> and so it was like his his time to like take a shower, right? Mm-hmm. So so his 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 brothers and sisters we call him at the time, it was like, yo, watch this. So Ben's going in, he goes in the bathroom, he goes in, he's supposed to be taking a shower. Mm-hmm. So he's in the bathroom, got the shower running, door locked, you know what I'm saying? got the shower cap, I'm assuming, and got the shower cap sticking his arm in it, because you can hear, like, it sound like somebody's in the shower. So they was like, okay, we're going to give him five minutes, right? And then they said, we're going to knock on the door, and we're going to be like, just scream, like, yo, fire, 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 right? <laughs> so they knocked on the door. They gave him a little time to make him feel like he in the shower, knocked on the door, painted on the door, like, bitch, it's a fire, it's a fire. Oh my God. He comes running out. Fully clothed, shoes on, ah! everything. <laughs> everything. Fully clothed, everything. So we you all, even got in the water. We even in the shower. So we all looking, we die laughing just like that. And so he just sitting on, just sitting in front with that little crazy dumb look on his face. <laughs> like, yo, why'd y'all do that? <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and so that that's like the type of dude that he was. Right? You know what I'm saying? He just was a real character. And and just to fuck with people. And, and, and it didn't really, didn't even that. bother. That shit ain't even make a difference. He's like, okay, y'all caught me. You know, right, until right. the next time. Right, right, right. Until the next time. Right. When, you, you know? when you young, you don't want to take a shower. Right? You don't want to take a shower. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Especially guys. I don't know what yeah. it is about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what it is about. Yeah, yeah. You got sons. So you I, got... Did, I know. As I'm saying, I got to tell them two, three times. Yo, so take, like, a shower, take a shower. Take a shower. Take a bath. Wash, right. wash behind your ears. You right. know what I'm saying? Lift them up. Let's do it. Right. <laughs> you know, we feel like we could just go out and we can, yeah. we can yeah. last two, three I ain't play ball a day. You exactly. know, I, I didn't sweat, like that. I you ain't know, sweat, right? You know, I didn't sweat. That, that's the number one thing. Right yeah, there. that's right. the number one. I was telling y'all the last show, like when I first met Biz, I was like 15, 16 years old, because we shared birthday. We had the same birthday. April and, yeah, and I was going to um, Rooftop. Oh, man, Harlem. That was my I spot. was sneaking in, actually, because I don't even think <laughs> I was old enough. But we, he was having a birthday party, and uh-huh. I met him. And he showed me so much love on my birthday. That's dope. That's how I met him on our birthday. Okay, you know? okay. That's so cool. every time we used to bump into each other, we'd be like April 8th. I'd be like, that's my twin right there. Yes. So yes. we would see each other periodically, you know? Okay. So, yeah. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. And still, we got Aries in the building. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. like you said, he's good people. I'm good people. I can relate to his energy. That definitely. loyalty. No doubt. Yes. No doubt. Talk about it. Because you know we be, are. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. We good my people. Best yeah, so yes. crazy. Yes. So I understand how. He, you know, he, he operated. Yes. Like once he took you in, that's something that they, they do. He used, he used to call me up, you know, and, and he, you know, hit me up like, yo, I got my itinerary for the next two, three months. You know, just shows all, it's well, around, around the country, around the world. Mm-hmm. And he'd be like, yo, which, which you know, which joint you want to rock at? You know, let me know. Same. You know, and 
you know, that's the kind of heart he had. You know what I'm saying? I used to and he would just be like, yo, just don't come through like hammer and shit. Cause <laughs> every, every time I came through a joint, he said, every time he's like, yo, don't come like hammer, dab, don't come. Because every time I used to come to a show, I used to have Dr. some people. Oh, 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 with the entourage. No, the entourage. entourage. No, not, I was not thinking about the pants. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, how you was dressing? That's no, what I'm thinking about. Yo, I got you. Dap. Yeah, I got you, dapper. I got you. I'm learning, I'm listening, nah, okay? Yeah, so he used to be like, yo, don't come through like Hammer, man. Just you and one, one other. Right, right. Yeah, he had like, with the Juice Crew. Yeah, he yeah, had too yeah, much yeah, room, yeah, right? So, so after a while, like, you know, I got it. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It took he, a while. It took a while. Because <laughs> he's like, damn, man, yo, I, you know, I knew he could get everybody in. Right. But I knew I had to go through a lot of bullshit mm -hmm. and a lot of, like, back talk kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. eventually he's like, yo. I'm telling you, that's it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. You plus one and you by yourself and that's it. That's it. Somebody gonna be mad. Somebody gonna be mad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Especially we chat we traveling a little distance right. to get there. So right. you did a lot of tra traveling in there. I did. I did. I yeah. did. Just just on support. You mm -hmm. know, I wasn't doing nothing on the road. Mm -hmm. You know, I wasn't no road manager at the right. time with him or or anything. It was just supporting, going out there, just just chilling with the homie. That's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, and just enjoying and, and you know, just the, the whole environment, and all that. Yeah, you know, but you know, I'm a music dude, so yeah, you, know, yeah. you know, when I'm out there, I'm, I'm seeing right dudes that. I know. You right. know, yeah, yeah. You know, the crazy part is, I be, I was chilling in um VA with my brother Smalls, and um that's how I met that. Yeah, my brother Smalls. Oh, yeah, I know Red before I know you. <laughs> that's crazy because I know you by accident. By accident, work. that's crazy. <laughs> that you didn't want to be at. Right, right. exactly. <laughs> That's you right. was like, this is my last day. I was like, it's your first <laughs> day. Like, your first yeah, was, and your last? Was like, I was like, what? We was having great conversation about entertainment and all that. And on the ladder. Out. On the ladder. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Getting it in. <laughs> he made me feel crazy. Like, yo. I'm like, what do you do that you just don't care about this job? Right. Like, this was not me. <laughs> yeah, he was like, me. not me. That's what's yeah, you, know, that, you know what's for you and what's not. For, you for sure. Yes. And that's how I met, you know, I met Ray, like you said, in VA. I, I lived in Virginia for a minute. Okay. For a good minute, actually. Yeah. And your, I know your brother moved down there mm -hmm. eventually, but, you know, we all connected to Bob. Word. You know, rest in peace. Word, rest in and, peace. Uh, but, yeah, yeah, so me and Red and the family, like, this this is family right here. This tight right here. This is family right here. You know what I'm saying? That's Matter of fact, I just spoke to Small. I was down in VA this past weekend. Oh, word. Yeah, yeah, so, so I, I, I ain't hook up with him, but, we, you know, we, of okay. course, we always talk. When of I go course. Out. You know, I got to give everybody a shout-out. Definitely. Yep, so that's, that's the whole... Yeah, they, they, the soul. whole Clemens family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Red got a big ass family. He got a big yeah, ass family, yeah. bro. That's my so best friend. Red's family. He's a fucking brother. Yo, he got a hundred brothers, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's I'm they glad. Got, got a hundred brothers. Don't I'm mess with the Reds. No. Don't mess with them, bro. <laughs> I'm in the middle. I'm right there sitting in the middle. Like dead in the middle. I'm like, that's your brother, too? Yeah, that's yeah. another brother. And they all look alike. They do? Either they're light, they light skin or, or, or brown skin. Yeah. There's go, it goes light skin, brown skin, light skin, brown skin, light skin, brown skin. Word up. DJ, 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 DJ. <laughs> oh, no. hey, hey. I started off my old brothers, um, for sure. You know, yeah. They had a group named TH3. It was um, my brother Todd, my brother L, and my, um, a good, good friend of ours um, named Suave, which his name's Alex. But, they had a group that they used to rock out parties and stuff, so I used to watch them sneak on a set when it was out. <laughs> Put everything back where it was. Right. And I rocked out from that point on. Yeah. And that's, okay. where the, that's where the DJ came yeah. to play. Yeah. yeah. But I think you, you're the one that kind of started the DJ in the fan. Yeah. And Smalls tried to DJ, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, well, Smalls been DJing for a minute. He, he back DJing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. built yeah. speakers and everything right. on Hard Street growing up in back in the days. Right. Okay, okay, okay. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. So, this, did you meet many right members here. of the Juice Crew? Yes, I met all the members of the Juice Crew. So, how was it? Yeah, the yeah. dynamic? No, nah, everybody, everybody had their own personality. Kane, Craig G, you know what I'm saying, um, um, uh, Cool G, all of them cats, mm -hmm. you know? So, yeah, it was, it was, it was interesting. I mean, I went to the reunion, right? We went yeah. to SOBs for the reunion. Yeah. 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 But I wasn't how that was. It was BB Kings. It wasn't that BB Kings. BB Kings. BB Kings. Right, right. It was BB Kings, right. I think I was. Did you make that one? I think I was at that one too. I was filming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was I interviewing? Yes, you interviewed that. You interviewed the whole crew. 
I did. That, that day. I did. The whole but not Biz. No, Biz was. I didn't, I, I didn't see Biz until later. I remember Shantae and okay. Big Daddy Kane and um, what's the other one? Craig G. Craig mm -hmm. G. So yeah. It was yeah. everybody from the Juice Crew and Molly. Right. That you and Molly. But right. Biz wasn't there. Biz wasn't mm -hmm. there. Yeah. 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 He was the only one that wasn't there. Right. But I caught his performance that night. Mm -hmm. And that's why some of the footage that I was got I got on him. Right. But right. I got a lot of footage because of you. Yeah. You know, okay. starting me off with introducing me to him. Right, right. Because I was a huge fan already. Like, yeah, yeah. I remember driving around in my like first car, pumping that joint, mm -hmm. like the tape is set. Right. Loving Bismarck. Right, like, right, 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 right. Thoroughly. And when you was like, that's my dude, I'm like, Really? <laughs> Don't play with me, yo. Stop yeah, playing. Right, right, you right. Brought me through, like. So my question is, you being a regular person, mm -hmm. I'm not saying just like, you know, how did you like mesh with all of that hip hop, like when it's all around, like the Canes and the Coogee Raps and so and so. Pieces? My my start in the game was, um, you know, I'm you know I was in the industry. And I'm, I'm I still dibble and dabble. You know, this was during the, the late '80s, the '90s, all through the 2000s. What was your rap name? Well, yeah, I, I these business. No, no, I had no. I I had I had some of those. I had some of those. I had I had the original. I was the D ski. Okay. I was D ski at one point. Okay. Everybody was a ski. The ski, right? Yeah, you know, everybody that's during the ski. Yeah. Right. So you know, we all had the skis and shit. Right. So I was D ski, and I went to. You know, Shakespeare lasted maybe like, I don't know, maybe two months. <laughs> you know, he was trying something out. I was trying some other shit. And then I went to the Grand Imperial Lottie D. Oh, oh the Grand Imperial. I was, I was okay. Trying, that's why I was going to little DJ. Okay. And, and, and then it just went, then it went to uh, Dapper Deluxe. <laughs> oh, God. For the Dapper nice, Deluxe, nice. and it went to Dapper from Dapper. Then it just all got chopped down to, to just Dapper. Dapper. Okay. Nice. Okay. Nice. And that was what stuck throughout all the years. Okay. Um, yeah. Good choice. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that with the lunch, grand right. cereal, right. all that oh, stuff. Wow. Yeah, I, I went through a medley of names and shit. You uh -huh. know? But um, but back to where the whole whole thing. You know, my cousin, um, manager Mo, he used to manage Boogie Down Production. Oh, nice. Yeah. So so that's where you know, even though I was loving music and I was like. I had that spark too, but not like, you know, biz or whatever. You know, I just was loving music. Like, you know, hip hop was my. my yeah, you love hip hop like we all. Well, like we all love hip hop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, so, you know, just going on the road, rocking with them, you know, during the early part of the BDP days when, when Scott was around. Yes. And all of that, you know. I'm and, from the Boogie Down yeah, Bronx, so, so you know, when that exploded. And oh, I know you met your rooftop. You know, we used, yes. to, we used to hit all that Latin quarters, right. all that type stuff. Latin quarters, the spot. Was the spot, was yeah. The spot, for so, sure. So we touched, we touched all that, um, and I knew at that point I wanted to do something, but more so behind the scenes. Okay. And so through through that that journey with when I used to rock with them, that's when I connected with my brothers from Houdini. Um, Jalil, Jalil, yeah, my dude. Yes, that's you know, my brother right yes. there. We we kick it. Yes. R.I.P. Yeah, yeah. With R.I.P. X. Yeah, yeah, but R. R. P. X. Jalil took me under his wing, mm -hmm. and, and he used to just like bring me to the meetings, go to Def Jam meetings, go to business meetings. Like, yo, just sit in the corner, don't say shit, just listen, be a student. Mm -hmm. And so that's what I did. I sat back and I just vibed, up, you know, see mm -hmm. how things was going, and mm -hmm. until I felt comfortable that I wanted to, to, to try this myself. So, mm -hmm. you know, I, wanted, I, I knew I wanted to go into something. I said, well, you know, let me try getting some groups and, and doing some management shit or whatever. Let me see if I can get some group signs. So, I used to like hit talent shows mm -hmm. and see if I can find some groups. So I, you know, I was out in Virginia, went to a couple of talent shows, seen some groups. Um, my first group that I got signed was a group from Virginia that I saw at a talent show. Um, he wasn't a group; he was actually a solo group, and mm -hmm. his name was Mad Skills. Okay. Yeah, homie you know, Mad they, Skills. Yeah, they call yeah, me Skills now. Yeah. You know, so I got my first deal back in ninety ninety three with Atlantic okay. Records. Okay. And um, and it just kind of progressed from there. I used to manage so for real, so um, for you know. And I did, you know. I had producers, you know, Chris Henderson and mm -hmm. Jimmy Kendricks and all these cats. They nice. did like big records, nice. you know. Mm -hmm. Little Rob, you know. So Little that, Rob did all the big hits for 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 ja Rule. He did. Can wow. I get a what for Jay Z? Nice. You know, Chris Henderson. He did hits like he did um, 
blame it on the alcohol for Jamie Foxx okay. and some Drew Hill shit. So, wow. you know, yeah. So, I mean, well so I, connected. Yeah, yeah. So that's how that went. So that's when that was my introduction in, in, into the game. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, of course, you know, Biz doing his thing. Let's get back to that. You know, because this is this is mainly about, about yes, him. Yes. You know, so you know we we always stay. He's moving, I'm moving. You know, and you know we all do making our moves and stuff like that. But do it all. We all remain. You know, we 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 you know we remain close. like real close friends, best friends, and you know till till you know till now. Yeah. You know, and and, and that's 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 where it's at, man. Yeah. So you say currently he was working on a book. He was working on a book, like I said, and it, called, it was called, it all started from a mixtape. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, he used to call me up and like, yo, you know, this is what I got. Tell me how this sound. I was like, ah, yeah, that's, that's close. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know. So, and he was working with another writer to help him actually structure. Mm -hmm. Was that the L.A. documentary that he, they, I'm hearing going around? It, it, it was actually something connected to the, to the book you're talking about? It was like a documentary also? I'm not sure. Being recorded? Well, there, there's, there is a documentary going, if it's, if it's the one that, that I was telling you about. Yeah. So it, it's not connected to the book. Um, it's something totally different. My man, um, Archie Amazing A. Snowden, okay. he, he's this dude, he's doing this, uh, this documentary. Um, it has a, a segment, a portion of it, just talking about business. And that's where I came into it. But basically, that documentary is just speaking about hip-hop. Oh, you know, the birth of hip hop from, okay. from the Bronx to Long Island, you know, and, and the journeys. And he got a lot, of, a lot of great people in there from Cool Hurt to DMC to Hollywood to, you know, Kane. And, you know, nice. he got a lot of great people just giving some good reflections on, on just hip hop itself. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. Yeah, so that, that's supposed to be coming out in, in December. Okay. Yeah, that's what they're shooting for right now. So, that's yeah, right so right I did on. a little, you know, maybe a little. 15, 10, 15 minute thing like I'm kind of doing with y'all yeah. in, in regards mm -hmm. on, on the documentary, just giving my reflections on this. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, but no no connection. It's yeah. just, it's just all, you know. So, so the book though. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So, I mean, it's not really far to go on it. Okay. You know, um, I'm not sure how far he got with it. I know he was almost done, mm -hmm. according to his, his wife, mm -hmm. Tara. Mm -hmm. um, she, you know, after. You know, when he passed and we talked about it and stuff, he's like, "Yeah, you know, it was almost done." You know, because you know, Biz had was was in that state that that we that you know from what happened to him for like a whole year. I know. You know, this happened June of 2020. Right. right. So right. for like pretty much a whole year mm -hmm. and, a, and, a, and, a, and a month or whatever, he he was in that state where he wasn't. He was non-responsive right. pretty much. You know? Really, for a whole year. For a whole year. Yeah, yeah that, so because it will always come up, like what's going yeah, on with Biz, like right. you know. Or to send prayers, basically that's all you can do. Pray, yes. I pray for him to recover. That everybody, you know, everybody yeah. was hoping for that miracle. Of and course. We we all at first didn't know exactly how deep it was because it wasn't like you know everybody was kind of keeping hush. You know, mm -hmm. but we knew he was in a hospital. We knew, you know. You know, he had the coma, right, you know, right. diabetes, because it all started from, from diabetes, you know, with right. diabetes. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. you, know, he, you know, he didn't, you know, manage that. They managed that correctly, you yeah. know. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and that's, that, as we find it out, is very serious. Uh, it's diabetes. serious, man. Take care of your health, people. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Look at Black Rob. Yeah. Look at a lot of well, people. Yeah, all these know? cats. Well, Black, yeah. Black Rob, um, I know the situation real quick was he, um, he was experiencing no help and had no, no funds to help himself. He he did. Did he? He did. Mm -hmm. He just went out of town to perform, and I don't, you know, off him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking yeah. about. It. I don't want to say, but yeah, um, yeah. Because yeah. when I spoke with him, he was he was just down. When I spoke with him, but that's serious, though. Yeah, yeah you got to take care of your health, man. You, yes, absolutely, absolutely. Rest in peace. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, when your body talk, you got to listen to it. Definitely to do. Sure. You we know, get your, get your do. annual checkups. Yeah. You know, right. we, 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 at, we at that age right now. You know, we, we got to yeah. get annual checkups. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Get get all of that. You know, don't. You can't don't, be too tough. Don't, don't be too tough, man, because, yeah. you know, 
you know, Ill, get that illness. preventive care. You yeah. know, don't wait until you get sick. Until you Try get to sick. Prevent yeah. yourself from getting sick. Exactly. Catch, you know? catch it at a at a young stage. Right. You know? Exactly. And learn how to change. And learn how to yeah. adjust your lifestyle. Sometimes you got to change your diet. Mm -hmm. You know. Sometimes you got to put down that alcohol. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? Whatever. You yeah. know. And I know it's hard, but you know. You got to sacrifice you wanna live. for You want to live? You right. got. You got to do. You got to do what you got to do. That's right. Yeah. You know what I always wish that they flip it upside down. All the stuff that's bad for you costs more. You know. The, all I wish the stuff they that's healthy too. for you. Make them double it's cheeseburgers. Right. Right. No $10. facts. That's a, that's a good thing. Right. Yeah. Make them double cheeseburgers. Ten dollars, not a salad. You right. know what I mean? Right. 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 $10, yeah. $12, yeah. you know? It, matter of fact, make it available because it's hard to find mm -hmm. sometimes. Right, right. right. Healthy food. Yeah. If yeah, sure. I was mayor, governor, I would put that in order right there, just like that. No, nah, right. that's 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 a good that's a good suggestion, man. We gotta put, put that around. put that in the no, universe. They want the right. medical field to get all that money from all the medication. You know, yeah, it's yeah, all, yeah, yeah, you know, it's all, so, it's all so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's all money. Yeah. 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 What did you do? So you rest in peace, Buffy. We made up something they call the human beatbox. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my man Chill Will in the house. Shout out to Mandy, Slick Rick's wife's in the house. But I like to let you know my name is Biz Marquis, the human old stone. <laughs> The crowd to a dormant, but what I do, like, ow, ow, but what you, I keep the people cheering, because of what they're hearing, moving and grooving to a devastating silence, let it go, the inner move for me, the B-R-T, the M-O-G-L-M-O, the A-R-K-I-E, the party will bring that bunch of a nigga crowd, see, I can turn that hour out of the end of the season, I entertain crowds, I'm the end of the south, who would make it noise? It's not new brows, do a girl brows. Say the funky rock that make the girls get naked. I can turn it out with different sounds. All my record is not to give them. It's your life, so the rhythm. The magnificent record maker of prison. The biz mark is, I'm going off. The biz mark is, I'm going off. The biz mark is, I'm going off. Thank <laughs> you.